What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Panthers Advice. Today we're breaking down one of the best defensive backs in the NFL, JC Horn. Now obviously this dude has been injured lately but when he's not injured as you're going to see this dude can play with the best of them. Let's take a look, get into the film, and break this guy down. Alright guys, first play we got JC Horn lining up against Chris Olave. Now Chris Olave, he did a number against CJ Henderson. If you haven't already, go check out that video. But let's let this play run. Go over it after. As you're going to see here, Chris Olave runs the out route. And JC Horn is right there to deflect it. Take a look at this again. So what you're going to see here from Horn is he's going to be watching Olave. And Tilly makes that cut, give or take right here. So take a look right here. So as the ball is snapped, watch his helmet right here. Winston gets it. He shifts his attention right towards Alave. Now watch what happens next. Watching, watching, watching. He cuts. Now Horn's looking at Winston right here. As you can see here, Winston's about to throw it right over here. Horn sees that. Immediately breaks on the ball. Immediately breaks on the ball. Watching Alave coming out of the cut. He's about to cut. He takes his attention away from Alave back to Winston. He sees Winston about to throw it and he breaks on that ball. And that's what makes J.C. Horn so good at the defensive back position. Let's jump to the next one. All right, guys, on this play, we got J.C. Horn lined up on the edge right next to Brian Burns. So take a look at this play. We're going to go over it after. So as you're going to see, he's going to come in untouched and swatch the ball right there. Great play by him, but it wasn't necessarily just J.C. on this play. I want you to watch Brian Burns right here. So take a look. As you can see here, Burns engages with this tackle right here. That allows Horn to come right here on the outside. Then Burns is actually going to drop back pick up the drag route underneath right here take a look at that he's gonna drop back that's picked up right there horns coming in once it's gonna throw something up as you're gonna see and horn swats it all right guys right here we got horn right here this play right here is going to show you how amazing his footwork is he never turns his back to the qb fully never fully turns his back to the qb side steps and back pedals for what 20 30 yards take a look at this again so he's lined up on the 15 Basically a Hail Mary for the Saints right here. Never turns his back. Basically sidesteps and backpedals all the way to the 50-yard line. 35 yards of that. This dude, man, he truly is one of a kind. Let's jump to the next one. All right, guys, right here we got J.C. Horn telling Miles, I believe, right here, pick up the outside receiver. Now take a look what happens. Jimmy G is going to drop back. And look what happens. Screenplay right there. Honestly, if Miles reacts quicker right here, it might be pick six. I mean, he would have Debo chasing him. But that might have been a pick six. Let's jump to the next one. Right here is going to be our first look at J.C. Horn going deep. No safety help over the top. Let's see how he plays his right here. Jimmy G drops back. Throws a bomb across the field. And look, he's right there, J.C. Horn. Let's break this thing down real quick. So from the jump, it's important to watch J.C.'s footwork right here. Take a look. The receiver is doing something or he knows something that lets him know this is not a run play. You can see him creeping back, creeping back, creeping back. This receiver takes off. Now look where the receiver messes up right here. Take a look. JC's gonna pick him up. Now right there, the receiver looks back at Jimmy G. Way too soon because JC Horn is locked neck and neck with him. So now JC can play the ball too because he looks back, the ball's in the air. Great defense right there. So once again, you can see the little back pedal right there. Give himself a little extra cushion, picks up the receiver. Receiver looks back way too early, allows JC to play it. Great play right there. So on this play, we got JC Horn going up against Cortland Sutton. Take a look at this play. JC's gonna guess and he's gonna guess wrong. Now he gets beat, but it's not by an awful amount. Take a look at this real quick. As you're gonna see before Russell gets the ball, he's looking at Russell, Russell gets it. He locks onto the receiver. Now watch what happens next. Cortland's coming at him. He's backpedaling, backpedaling, backpedaling. He made JC think right there he was taking it deep. He cuts. Russell hits Cortland, great play right there. So obviously Cortland beat him on the last play. Let's see, can JC Horn bounce back right here? Cortland tries to do a double move, JC stays in front of him. Great defense right there. Let's take a look at this one more time. So what I want you guys to watch right here is JC's footwork, man. This is one of the best in the NFL. Sun's gonna try to hit him with that outside step. See if he can get JC to commit. JC doesn't commit. Then he's gonna do another little gather step, double step to the outside as you're gonna see. Still neck and neck with him. Next thing to watch is the head placement. So take a look. He does not look at the QB until Cortland does. Once Cortland does, JC looks up. I mean, he played this perfectly. So this play right here is truly going to show you how special JC Horn is. So as you're gonna see once again, just like we talked about in the first play, at the very beginning of the snap, he's looking at the QB. Once the ball's in the QB's hands, take a look. He picks up that outside receiver right here. Following, following, following. As you're gonna see, DK is going to cut. 
Now that DK has cut, he's no longer looking at DK. He knows what DK is going to do. So now he's looking at the quarterback. Is Gino going to throw here or is Gino going to go deep? As you can see, Gino's waiting for DK. Gino then changes his mind as you're going to see there. So take a look at his helmet. Looking at DK, changes his mind, looks towards the deep route right there. JC Horn sees that. Now take a look. In a backpedal, turn around, and then go pick that thing off. That is wild. Take a look at this one more time. Watching the receiver, he cuts, looking at the QB now. So now he's no longer out looking at DK, looking at Gino. Gino changes his mind. JC Horn sees that, drops back, picks it off. Man, that is a nice play. Let's jump to the next one. All right, guys, on this play, we got JC Horn and DK Metcalf right here. You're going to see DK does a great job of using his body and his size to get this ball right here. Take a look. Shields off JC Horn right there. Now, remember, DK is a big guy. He's a big guy. Take a look what he does right here. So as you see right here, Seahawks run that play action. Still quite a bit of separation. Now DK has to get Horn to fully commit going this way before bouncing it back. So take a look what happens next. Bounces that in and then takes it right back out. As you're going to see, Horn commits to that. Turns Horn around completely. Now Horn has his back to DK right there, as you're going to see. He uses that arm as leverage to a point. Makes a great catch. Let's see if Horn can bounce back on this next play. So right here, we're going to see, can JC get his revenge on DK right here? Take a look at this play. We're going to go over it after. See if you catch anything from before. There's JC Horn. Now, I believe they ruled this incomplete, but I want you guys to watch what he does again. Like I said before, 10 yards of separation, give or take maybe a little bit more on this play. Watching the QB pre-snap. Gino drops back. Now his eyes are on the receiver. Let the play develop a little bit more. DK still isn't cut. So JC Horn, as you can see, is still watching him. DK cuts. The second he cuts, watch Horn's helmet. Look at that. He's no longer watching DK. He's watching that ball. Breaks on it, man. And he's right there. He does this every time. This is what makes him such a good defensive back. Take a look at this again. Watching the receiver. He cuts. Boom. Right towards the QB. Breaks on the ball. This dude is crazy, man. Let's jump to the next one. All right, guys, right here is going to be our last play for JC Horn. Hopefully he can stay healthy this year. You guys see the kind of playmaker he is. Let's run this play, go over it, and then we'll call it good. Let's break it down. So right here, Falcons run the play action. Now, I'm not sure why that receiver came out slow from the jump. You know, he had JC Horn to a point. JC's going to come out of nowhere, pick it off, green light, go ahead let's break this thing down like before with the rest of the clips watching the qb he bites on this play action as you're going to see now i'm not sure why this receiver wasn't coming out of that cut harder jc clearly bites then the receiver looks back right here once again when you do that it lets jc know you're expecting the ball jc's going to follow him all the way around he's not going to do anything crazy because he's expecting the ball right there receiver comes back jc reads the quarterback and it's picked off again. So that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys want to see moving forward. Are there any players you guys still want to see? Do you guys want to see my thoughts on some of the position battles, receivers, tight ends, linebackers, safeties, quarterbacks, etc.? Let me know your thoughts, what you guys want to see. I'll catch you on the next one. Panthers Advice is out.